Chad, thank you. The U.S. Department of Agriculture is predicting a record-breaking corn crop this year in Indiana. News 18's Holly Campbell reports, though, as the yield goes up, the price comes down. The USDA released its annual corn crop report Tuesday at the Indiana State Fair. And experts say the numbers are good. Indiana's corn production is expected to be up 1% from last year, coming in at 179 bushels per acre. Well, the crop has sort of been firing on all cylinders, as it were, and we're certainly looking at the prospects of very good yields coming out of the fields this fall. If the yield comes in at the estimated amount, it will be the highest yield in Indiana history. Purdue corn specialist Bob Nielsen says despite the late planting and wet, cool weather, corn is still on track for a record-breaking yield. The crop has remained either on target or slightly ahead of schedule actually all summer long, even though it's been a cool summer. Weather was also a concern for soybean farmers this year. We had cool, wet weather, had limited opportunities to get the seed in the ground, and when we did, we had those opportunities for disease development, herbicide injury. The USDA's soybean estimate wasn't record-breaking, but Purdue soybean specialist Sean Castile says it's still a good yield. The expected yield is the same as last year at 51 bushels per acre. Castile says the next 30 to 45 days are a critical period for soybeans, and a few things need to happen to keep the crop on track. Adequate moisture that we still want. We'd love to have a little more heat to it to, to do a little rapid, more rapid, but the, I guess the third thing actually is to not have an early fall, fall freeze. Purdue Ag Economist Chris Hurt says the higher yields mean lower prices impacting producers. So we're looking at prices of corn dropping about 12 percent, soybeans 20 percent. Uh, we're now dropping to price levels that really are not profitable for producers. And for the consumer, the high yields mean lower prices in the grocery store. Lower wheat prices, lower corn prices for cornflakes, lower uh, oat prices for Cheerios, all these things pretty quickly show up in lower food cost. Holly Campbell, News 18. Well,